so we're at the manor house right now and this place is known for the soul food so i looked up reviews literally on yelp on facebook and yada yada just to find this place out because i've always wanted to try soul food i've only had it a tiny bit once and it was just hush puppy so that's why i'm so excited to try this this place is known for their fried um, catfish but they do have other things like uh, smothered um, pork chops and they also have good side fixes too from like mac and cheese to uh, to collard greens as well so but yeah I'm so excited to try this this is one of those places where literally when you come through the front door you are greeted with this wonderful beautiful lady named Miss Teresa she is such a smiling glowing lady so yeah spiritual vibe very kindness homey feel if you want that and with the casualness as well then let's go check it out you guys Joyce and I are here at the Manor House and we'd love to see you come in. God bless you. Come on into the Manor House and Joyce and I will make sure you be well taken care of. How do you define uh, southern food? Like soul southern food is just what it said. It's southern food, homemade. It's uh, freshly cooked. It's not like canned goods or preservative. It's like food that freshly cooked like collard greens from growing the collard greens and flavoring it cutting it up um potato salad you know um everything is cooked really fresh and why do you think they call it salt it's cooked from like uh our, you know, our foreparents, like the recipe way back in the days that when they make the collard greens, like with fat back and pork, even though, you know, health reasons, a lot of people don't eat like that anymore because they find different ways that they can eat without using pork as a flavor. So, but in the days, they were cooked with pork. Like fat bag, bacon, you know, those kind of foods that raise your blood pressure up. <laughs> that raise the flavor. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite thing about soul food? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. I think every southern restaurant should always have fried chicken. If you don't have fried chicken and homemade cornbread, you need to be closed. <laughs> Cornbread, potato salad, candy ants, mac and cheese, green beans, fried okra, pork chop. That's what you call southern food. I love working here at the Manor House because I like working with food, period. I've always liked working around food. As uh, I grew up working around food. When I was eight years old, my mother sent me and my sister to the Y. The, YM, the YWCA, and they teach us how to cook. They taught us how to cook at home. My mom, my aunt, my uncles, so I'm all of them. We taught, they taught us how to cook. I cooked in school with, in OWE class, cooked at church. Wow, but, you did a lot of Yeah, but I don't cook here. Oh, you don't cook? No. <laughs> I'm out of the kitchen. I'm retired from the kitchen. I did, when I first started, I made all the pound cakes. So what yeah. about you staying here for four years? Because I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be at home all day, laying around. I need to get out. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. And the only family here was my sister and her family. Oh. And we get to know the notice, mm -hmm. and we get to know the, know the people that come through. Yeah. All right, hey guys. So um, I got some catfish. I got some catfish nuggets because the ladies here are so sweet, and they recommend it. It's the catfish nuggets. So you guys can look. So there you go. Some catfish nuggets, the cornbread, 
some tartar sauce. And then I've heard great things from these ladies as well and on the Yelp reviews and so on. Look at that, the mac and cheese and the uh, green beans as well. And we also got some punch too. Okay, look at this beauty. Yeah, this one is like one of their popular items. The punch. They recommend drinking the punch here, so. And the catfish is like the popular one too. Mmm. The punch is really good. It tastes like, um, let me describe it to you guys. I love the punch so far. The best way I could describe it, it tastes like uh, lemonade starburst. You know the lemon one? It tastes like that and like a bit of strawberry. It's very like light flavored too. Because usually I'm not a fan of fruit punches in general. I mean, the last time I drank it was probably when I was like a kid, like fifth grade, but this is so delicious. I'm so excited, you guys. I've had uh, a tiny bit of soul food before, but this is my very first like full on soul food. I've had hush puppies and that's probably it. So, can't wait to try this. This is so good. Just the right amount of salt. Here, let me like give you guys like a cross cut. But yeah, it breaks off so easily. It's perfectly crisp, not too crispy at all. You know how some fried fish, how it has extra batter around it? Not in this case. It has very little batter and yet it still has that crispiness. It's not oily or anything too, which is really nice. Usually when I have fried fish, I'm not a huge fan, but this is delicious. Their sauce tastes like, um, you know like potato salad? You know how it has that creaminess with egg base and so on? That's what it tastes like. It tastes like you're dipping your fish into a potato salad dressing. It is nice. <coughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. What's what it tastes like? I understand why the ladies recommended um, being catfish nuggets because it's so much easier to eat. Because all you do have to do is like stick your fork in and eat it like this. It makes total sense, and it's easy to dip too. I'm glad I went with their recommendations. All right, we're going to try some of the cornbread. And let me break it in half so you guys can see the texture. See it? Look at how soft it is. See it's like crisp on the outside on the edges and soft in the middle. Mm. Mm. This is really good. But inside it is so soft, like when you take a bite into it, it's kind of like spongy like. You know how like um, when you have cornbread, how it's usually like dry and like kind of tough to eat, it like dries up your mouth? Not in this case, it's kind of like a cake-like consistency, a little bit on the thicker side and it has a light mild flavor. You taste a bit of corn and and a bit of like, on like, on the outside, it tastes a bit like honey-like. So this is really good. I did not expect this either. Alright you guys, let's try some of the, um, the sides now. I'm so excited. Okay, so I ordered green beans and then I ordered the, um, the mac and cheese, so. I haven't had mac and cheese in a long time. Probably the last time I've had it was the package stuff. I 
Oh my god. Well, this, this is the oil. It's made with rolled cheese in that, you guys. Look at the melted cheese on top. You guys see that? You didn't see the oil in there. That is. And even throughout, you even see little clusters of cheese as well. It has a cheesy, they have the cheesy, chewy texture. You know how you have like, like really good pizza from a local rest, local restaurant. You know how the cheese just pulls apart, kind of like that. Where it's just like it has that gooey cheesiness. They are generous with the cheese here. Mm. Okay, he told me to take this. This is so good. I wish you guys were here to try those. The noodles. Very soft. Definitely more on the al dente side. This is how beautiful it looks. Guys, see how glistened it is? That is the oils and fats from the actual cheese. I have to be honest with you guys, this is probably the best mac and cheese I've ever had, hands down. What I love about this is. So far, from what I've had, it's like this, you know, you have the main dish, and usually at restaurants and so on, the side dishes are like, eh, you know, they're off to the side, they're the side dishes, you know? But for this, it's, even the side dishes itself could be its own meal, too. It's really, like, delicious and beautiful. Alright, you guys, let's try the green beans now. Let me show you guys the green beans. The green beans seem really tender. I was easily able to stab my pork into it. Look at how beautiful it is, you guys. Even the little bit of onion on there, too. Mm. Oh my god, these are so good. It's like green beans are in a pool of like veggie broth or something. It's just perfectly seasoned. It's not too salty. Usually I've had bland green beans, but these are like... And they're so tender. They're so easily to eat. And they maintain their form too, which is so beautiful. But yeah, my final thoughts on this is... I highly recommend you guys check out Mana House. Especially if it's your first time having soul food, it is so good. First off, the people are so friendly here and so kind. Like you go in, you step in, and then they just greet you with like warming, loving kindness. On top of that, the food is so delicious. I did not expect it. This, ex I mean, I, I looked at the reviews; it was good, but like this exceeded my expectations so much more. The fish, it's tender not too crispy, not too much batter, where it covers up the fish, you actually taste the fish. The fish is actually real fillets. It's none of that like processed, chopped up fish sticks. No, this is the real deal. But yeah, like I said, overall, I, it is so worth the price. I highly recommend it. If you are a foodie, you're wanting to try soul food, you're out in Marietta, whatever, just try it. And you will love the atmosphere, you will love the casualness of it, and you will love the food. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It was just so much fun just chilling with you guys. We got to eat delicious soul food for the first time, technically for the first time, and just eating, ooh, catfish, and then also meeting the wonderful people behind the business as well. It was just, they were so friendly as heck and I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, take care of you guys. Love you guys. Oh, and don't forget, make sure you like it and also subscribe as well if you haven't yet. So yeah, take care. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye. Just, that is the oils and fats from the actual cheese. Craft, eat your heart out. See how it close? Oh. Four, seven, six, nine, there we go. See that? See how like 